Okay, so this is another non-balloon twisting balloon video. I'm going to tell you how I handle line work. Line work can be unbelievably frustrating or it can be a lot of fun. It really depends on how you do it. A lot of rookie mistakes and I've seen it done many times. They don't have a true line. So when you're doing line work, make sure it's a straight line. You don't want kids, uh, as I say, horseshoeing around you in a big U shape. Make sure they stay in a straight line. And the other thing you have to look out for is make sure you don't somehow get two lines going. One line, sometimes you get one line here and then people will start shooting off to the other side and nobody knows where the line is. Make sure they stay in a straight line. That's really, really important. The next thing that you have to worry about, at least to a little bit, is who you give a balloon to. If you have your rule only one, only from like three years and older or just three to ten years old, that's okay. Those are your rules. Make sure you always stick to those rules. My particular rule is if you waited in line, you can have a balloon. But you only get one balloon, not two, just one. So if with your one balloon you want to give it to your sister who won't wait in line, fine, that's up to you. I'm not giving your sister a balloon, I'm giving it to you. If you give it to her, that's the way it goes. Okay? Another thing that I do, and I find it's really important, at the end of your event when you have to go, because they've stopped paying you, so I'm not going to give away my time for free, is you have to close the line. There's lots of different ways to close the line. The way that has worked for me and, and works really well <clears throat> is I have these cards right here. These are my old business cards. The information is still correct, but this is the old card and this is my new card. If I'm working and someone wants a card, I give them my new one. When I'm closing the line, I will find out how long people have been waiting in line and I have 30 cards right here. I keep these with me all the time or at least a bundle of 30. Then I will go down the line and I will tell someone, would you like a balloon? And they'll of course want one. Then I give them a card. Every single person that needs a balloon needs a card. So if there's a mother there with three children, she gets three cards. Okay, if there's someone with four kids, they get four cards. When I'm at the end here, it's usually about, this is about 30 to 40 minutes of balloon work. I will tell everyone past this point, I'm very sorry, I'm almost done. I guarantee balloons up to the last person that got a card. After that, this is your 40 minute warning or 30 minute warning, whatever it is, that you can wait here and I will still walk away without giving you a balloon. I'm very good at that. I always show up on time, I always start early, but I leave on time. That's very important. I think you should do it too. Anyway, the thing about one balloon or one card per every person that gets a balloon is if they were not in line, they do not have a card. You made sure to give one to every single person that was in line. That way you won't have people saying, oh, I was in line, I was in line. Well, no, you weren't. If you were in line, you would have had a card. Now you can either keep, like, take this card back, or you, what I do sometimes, I just take a pen and I put a line on the back of it. That way, all the information is still correct on my card, but the line on the back will let me know that it's already been used for a balloon. That, for me, closing the line is a big, big deal. If you do it right, everyone understands it. If you don't do it right, you're in for a lot of trouble. Okay? Anyway, hope that helps for you uh, new balloon people that are doing balloon uh, line work. Line work, I love line work. The, the cards, big, big time saver for me. Headache saver too. Okay, thanks.